Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how to take a event gallery page and embed it into our website. We're going to be using WordPress, but this should work with any HTML website, as long as you can post in uh, custom HTML code. Um, it will we'll be posting it to a blog post, but it can go on a page. Um, and if this is all kind of foreign language to you, stick around. We're also going to take our gallery and just put a link inside our navigation bar. Uh, a lot less complicated and easier to maintain. But uh, then we'll go through some practical reasons why we might want to use the first option um, in our workflow. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Right here, I have a uh, my event gallery admin uh, side. And I'm going to click on this little sprocket right here and scroll down till I get to my embed code. I'm going to. Uh, we need two pieces of code: one from here, and then one when we click to generate. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Now we're going to go into our. Um, um, dashboard in WordPress or whichever website you're using. We're going to click on post and add new. Okay, we'll give it a title. Uh, and then we'll also set a featured image just for fun. Uh, We'll go with that one right there. And then we're going to add custom HTML. So, we're going to start with our opening HTML tag. And then we'll paste. And then our closing HTML tag. And then we're going to generate code and put it right in between those. So let's switch back over to Event Gallery, Generate, copy the script right here, and paste. Okay, now when we publish, go back to my website. Oops. If I click on my blog, it's now updated with this blog post. And if I click on that, it should now um, have those images embedded in my gallery. My website's a little bit slower, so it might take just a minute for them to populate. But um, there is my. Um, event gallery page event embedded into a blog post. Now this would be uh, might be pretty helpful if you have let's say a corporate client you can give them that code and then they can put that on their uh, website or their blog or any type of uh, anywhere that they can add custom HTML code. Um, this drives traffic to a website rather than to let's say social media and social media has its place but uh, really you want traffic to eventually end at your website so that you are uh, hired so you can use this you can use it to sell at, uh, upsell and uh, give to your customers there are a whole bunch of different ways that you can use this option another easier way so if we what we just did didn't make a lot of sense um, we can just add a link to our event gallery um, page um, right here what we would do is go to your client site and this is one that you just set and then you just leave and as you update it you tell people go to my website and then click on find your photos so you would take this URL and um, under your navigation bar, let's see, appearance. OK, 
Okay, in your menu section, you can see that right here I have a link that says find my photos and that takes me to that event gallery page. So if we look right over here, you can see there's that link. And that's a little bit easier to do uh, for people that aren't too familiar or don't want to do any, uh, any coding, even though it's not too much. Uh, it can be, you know, a little overwhelming for some people, and that's okay. So, a whole bunch of different ways you can use Event Galley. It's one of my newest, favoriteest things that we've come out with. Uh, it works with Darkroom Booth, Darkroom Booth for iPad, Darkroom Core and Pro, and you can use it with Darkroom Hot Folder, or you can use it as standalone where you just upload it through your browser. Uh, through your browser. So uh, a lot of different ways that you can do this. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say: Th this this um, option you can upload an image as a placeholder image and then uh, put it on your website before the event. So and it will update live as you take photos. Pretty cool stuff. I hope this has been helpful. I hope everybody's staying healthy, staying safe, being kind to each other. Until next time. Hi, it's me again. If this video has been helpful, be sure to check out one of our other videos just like this one. And if we've earned it, please consider subscribing. This lets us know people are out there watching our videos and it's making their job and their life just a little bit easier. Please consider subscribing right over here.